Our first session today is called How Operators Can Ensure Top-Notch User Experience with Live Streaming on Any Device Anywhere in the World. Um, this talk is by Oliver Leeds. Oliver, unfortunately, couldn't be with us in person, so he sent us a recording. Um, and um, if there are any questions, he's also shared us an email ID uh, that you can all reach out to. He is really he was really keen on uh, and interested in being here, um, but unfortunately he couldn't. He's traveling, so he shared uh, the video. We go ahead and get started with the video. Uh, but if there are questions, I'll also drop in an email ID where you can touch base with Oliver. So let's get started. Yes, hello everybody. Thanks for having me here. I'm glad to talk about how to build an efficient live streaming application at scale, which we make possible also with the help of Digital Ocean. Let me shortly introduce myself. I'm the founder and CEO of NanoCosmos. We are the professional video streaming business since 1998 already. We're always pushing and leading innovations in the live streaming industry for many years. I've received global industry reputations and awards in our diverse team in Berlin and Germany. Our main platform is NanoStream Cloud, which we introduced 2016 already. It's an interactive live streaming platform, which means that you can share a live event with a global audience and enable audience interaction in terms of real-time activities. So you can get feedback from the audience, from a global audience on a live stream or um, a virtual event. There are several use cases around that, like webcasts, conferencing, town hall meetings, where you share um, presentations from sea uh, level management, company meetings, podiums, podium discussions, things like e-learning, education, or entertainment, where you need an interaction between the presenters and the audience in terms of real-time feedback, like questions and answers, giving any kind of feedback like polls or um, even monetized content like betting or doing purchases on the stream. The real-time interaction is kind of, can, can be compared with a real um, presentation, like when you have people sitting on a stage, you get questions during the discussion from the audience, which then can be also transferred to the virtual space. That looks like this. You have a still uh, stage. Um, you have a camera set up, sending a live stream to the world, and you have a global audience um, joining this event on any device, which could uh, ideally, preferably, be on a web browser. You open a web browser, see this live event, and on top of the video content, you also have interactive elements to directly ask questions or give any kind of feedback in real time. We call this kind of lean forward activity compared to a lean back activity, which you usually do when you do streaming like Netflix or video on demand content, which you're having on the couch and uh, lean back. And the lean forward activity means that you are doing something while watching the stream, you're interacting with the presentation. This can also be things like expert hearings, which were very strong in the pandemic where everyone needs needed to stay home you needed to create some kind of environment where experts come together share their expertise to create something new about scientific things like the uh, corona facts uh, which we see here uh, joining experts from apple and google and uh, having politicians uh, moderate this session also bringing questions from the live audience into the stream This can also be virtual, like a uh, kind of a hybrid environment where you have a mixed environment between people sitting on stage and bringing people in from the virtual space, which can be part of a podium discussion or and also ask questions, have a discussion together. And all this setup is then shared to a large audience in the world. Let me share an example from the entertainment space, a music concert, which also needed to stay low during the pandemic. Um, how can uh, organizers still um, engage with their audiences so they can connect with uh, real life fans in terms of a kind of a video conference. They can interact while doing the performance 
and the fans can be part of that experience directly and you have a larger group then for the global audience which can be part of that experience by also watching the stream by creating an interactive scenario and a great user experience to real feel um, part of, be, be part of the uh, event. This can also be combined with monetized elements like purchasing merchandise, ticketing, or uh, any kind of activity which is run during the show with the virtual global audience. There are also other types of uh, live streaming, which is more like vertical business segments like um, auctions, sports betting, and gaming. You see an example of a real life auction for real estate, which uh, we do together with partners in Australia. So they send live streams from real estate sales to the real estate sales directly on the live stream with their global audience. And this also needs to be in real time to be part of the real um, auctioning and bidding environment. So it's a monetized revenue stream, which gives, gives additional value to the companies. Sports betting is a growing activity as well. And new innovations are coming up here as well for real-time interaction to monetize live streams in a better way to take bits and bets from global audiences based on the live video content, which uh, the platform is providing. So let's come to further information about tools and technologies we use and how we set up the system. Having a global approach means that you send a live stream from anywhere in the world based on a camera and something which is then filmed uh, by a video camera, sent to a live stream to a server in the internet, and that could be at different locations. So, and based on this initial ingest location where the live stream is coming in, it's distributed around the world to other server locations and other parts of the world. So a global audience can be part of that event experience. That now needs to be in real time. That means that the latency, the delay between the camera signal and the viewer experience needs to be very low. You, so you need to have complete control of the workflow end to end, starting from the camera to the viewer to create the best user experience for the whole audience. Let's go into this in a little bit more detail. So you have a setup running with the camera, you have a live encoder, which is on your venue. This setup is sending one live stream to the platform, to a live streaming platform. It lands on an ingest server, and the live streaming platform takes care about the delivery to any device anywhere in the world to ensure that everybody gets a great user experience. Usually you don't have only one single server, but you have multiple servers taking care about the delivery in a most efficient way to create the lowest uh, delay between the different parts of the workflow. So that means that you need to provide several servers all around the world, dependent on the location of the uh, presentation and other servers on other parts of the world, dependent on the viewer, viewer audience. Separate to these um, streaming servers, you also need additional servers for backends and control, like databases, API servers, which take control of the live streaming management. You might uh, want to add video storage um, servers and systems to be able to save the incoming live stream to a video on demand feed for later playback, or um, also have logs and uh, metric systems running which allow you to add some analytics and get further info about the quality of service of your live streams. So in real life, that looks like more like this, that you have several dozens of ingest servers, several dozens of playout servers, which needs to be scalable, dependent on scalable audiences, and which need to be automatically deployed on the right um, server locations to take up the right um, upstream from the ingest location and then do the delivery at a global scale to any part of the world and to any audience size, uh, independent of how many people are potentially joining this live stream. So it needs to be redundant, needs to be stable, automatic things like automatic failover need to be in place. Uh, multiple data, data centers need to be running at the same time to keep things up and running um, 24 seven. This is called a so-called origin edge architecture, 
which combines origin servers, ingest servers with playout servers all around the world. And this needs to be deployed in different regions. So if you have the right cloud provider, you can ensure that different regions are equipped with the right servers and the right uh, accessibility to cover a global approach for a robust 100% stable system, which is running 24-7, 365. I already mentioned automatic failover monitoring systems. Also more and more important is security, things like compliance, GDPR, content protection against misuse. We need to have really um, end to end control about the whole workflow um, to ensure that um, the right um, performance is achieved and that you protect the system against any kind of misuse. What we did at NanoCosmos is we created our own unique delivery technology based on our own software, which we installed on a global server system which is called H5 Live, which ensures the real-time delivery. The incoming live stream is then distributed to any browser. It directly runs out of the box on any browser, Safari on iOS, Android, Chrome, uh, desktop or mobile. Most of our usage is meanwhile on mobile. So mobile first is a very important approach which we solved. And this means with this approach to keep the technology under control, we can achieve real-time activities with um, ultra low latency values between uh, 0 and 0 0.5 seconds, so everything below one second is possible. Software-wise, that um, it's also important that you have a real API and system to embed your live streams on a web page. Um, just some lines of JavaScript code are usually required to embed that on the page and the player then on the web uh, page on the device is automatically correct, connecting to the right server location in the content delivery network to pick up the stream in the most efficient way to provide a high quality of service. To control this quality and to get insight into the quality, you also need powerful metrics and analytics to see in which location of the world you have the highest performance, highest quality. You might see some degradations in certain areas. That's all very important to collect. And also a metric system, which collects a large amount of data, is part of this system. This also allows you to troubleshoot potential streaming issues, to detect whatever network drops or so. And this is important to have the right accessibility and um, performance metrics available from the cloud providers to see how good your live streams are running and how good the network connectivity is. To start streaming, you can use open source tools like OBS, uh, which is also used in the gaming world, for example, like in, in the Twitch platform or in YouTube Live. Um, this is a kind of uh, known standard for live streaming. It can also be hardware devices, which you can use to plug in a camera and then send the live stream directly out to the cloud. So there are different options, but it's very easy to get started with these easy to use tools. You can also even go live um, from the web page. Um, we provided a free tool to use during the pandemic, which we call Berlin Webcaster, an initiative to support local and local organizations uh, like in music, art, education, journalism, to have easy access to live streaming and um, make it easier to monetize your content while the pandemic was going on. Some more technical details about live streaming means that to cover really uh, everything under bad network conditions as well, you need to provide several quality levels in your live stream. So a um, device which is running in a bad network connects to a lower quality and the device which is running in a high quality network also gets a higher quality video. This all needs to be done without any buffering. So we keep that real-time activity under control. So this is how it looks like in a demonstration. I was showing that on one of our exhibitions, sending a live stream from a mobile device and playing it back on different devices on a large TV set and also on laptops, other mobile devices to see the um, yeah, typical wave gesture between the um, camera and the viewers. So 
provide should you use NanoCosmos, we uh, provide a unique combination of uh, ultra low latency live streaming CDN, including player and data analytics, which is very robust, 100% stable, which can be easily integrated into B2B applications based on an API dashboard and templates. It's uh, secure with automatic failover and um, protection against misuse very mature and running stable in production since 2016 with strong support from our team to get started and to achieve your business goals. So we usually try to understand your interactive use cases to help you monetize in your own business content. So what does Digital Ocean bring to the table here to help um, implementing this technology? It's very easy to deploy Digital ocean technology at several locations based on droplets we can use. It's very easy to handle failover and scalability issues around that based on the robust service they have. And we also make use, make heavy use of the API to fire up and down droplets to uh, make available certain features and functions in the system. So we're using quite a lot of these different um, features and functions from Digital Ocean, which makes it very easy to build up a cloud system basically but in the end of course it's uh, based on your own technology very important to keep your own goals under control and use these things as tools to create a successful application so that was my overview you can uh, really um, take your interactive live streams to a global audience with our platform it's very easy to get started as i was saying um, the details matter a lot matter a lot so um, you need a reliable partner for solving your business goals here and live streaming is something which we can provide to provide a live streaming platform with the highest possible of uh, possibility of quality of service and quality of experience for your applications you can get a free trial at uh, nanocosmos.de and run um, the platform for seven days for free and there are several packages available to book to create a live streaming platform for your own brand. Thank you very much and goodbye.